you mentioned a couple of uh, categories of countries, also depending on the, uh, on the feeling how they have on the U- United States, or what's the, what, what stand they have towards the United States, or maybe the West in more general. I, I would like to turn with this uh, remark to, to Johannes. Uh, currently, we have seen a uh, div- deeper division uh, on the basis uh, of the war in Ukraine. So, for example, if you look at the UN Security Council, some countries have uh, voted uh, to condemn the attack, Uh, on Ukraine, some countries not. Most of the Latin American countries have been more on the Western uh, side on this. What what kind of um, repercussions does this mean? Uh, wh- why why are they doing this? I think first of all we have to note and um, that the Latin American countries, as you said, mainly voted against this war, um, which is is it's remarkable because it's still one of the most democratic regions in the world that we have, and f- for that reason also Europe should be interested in these countries. But the Ukraine war will definitely have an impact uh, on the region. We see that in terms of food security and energy security, um, but also in business relations, because there are tendencies to the a process of deglobalization and decoupling that could come up, which have um, some risk for countries in their relations uh, business-wise, and for others opportunities like Mexico, Um, may have opportunities out of that, but other countries in the Andean countries, they will lose definitely from that. In terms of food security, we see, for example, that um, with the lack of um, fertilizers coming from Russia or uh, with the lack of um, wheat coming from the Ukraine, countries will have problems in their agricultural sectors. Peru is an example. They had um, uh, declared... um, an emergency case on the, f- and the food and agricultural sector because of the crisis in Ukraine. So some uh, countries are very much worried. Another um, example is Ecuador. Um, it's a banana producer and 25% of its exports of bananas normally go to Russia. But now this is not possible any longer. So they ask also for help to the European Union or other partners give us an opportunity where we can export. Mm. So there are definitely impacts, as I told, and um, I think in the future there will be more, even more um, challenges coming up with that situation.